Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I just want to say welcome. For Cricut newbies, check out my newbie playlist to learn design space. And please don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you hit the notification bell next to it so you don't miss any of my videos. Today I will be making a round wood tray. And if you are interested to see on how I did mine, just keep on watching. I had purchased this pre-cut round wood at Home Depot for about $6 and it's about 17 inches in diameter. So I'm just going to start staining the wood. I am using an old cloth that I had cut up, but you can use any brush you prefer. And the stain I am using is called Craft Smart Gel Stain, and this one is in Walnut. I will also link all of the materials I'm using under the description box if you guys wanna check that out. So right here, I'm just going to make sure I get a good coverage of the stain onto the wood all around it. Then I just take a paper towel to wipe up all the excess stain and then I just let it dry. I'm using an adhesive vinyl 631 as my stencil which I've already cut up with my Cricut and if you don't have a machine to do that for you you can always draw and trace the image you like and then just take a Sacto knife and cut the stencil slowly and carefully. Then I'm just going to weed the vinyl that I don't need. So just trim the stencil, this way it'll be easier to see how you want to place your stencil onto the wood. Then take my transfer tape and place it over my stencil and then burnish. Now I'm just going to remove the backing of the vinyl. Then find the placement where the vinyl should be. Then burnish. Then carefully remove the transfer tape. A lot of the crafters use Mod Podge before painting. Uh, this is supposed to minimize the bleeding of the paint. I usually use an acrylic paint, but for this one, I'm just going to try out the chalk paint that I had purchased from Michaels. I did a couple of layers just to achieve that pop of the image since it's such a thin text. Then just let it dry, which, you know, chalk paint dries pretty quickly. Once it's dry, then go back and remove the stencil. I have these handles that I had purchased from Home Depot and they were under $2 each. And right here, I'm just kind of eyeballing the placement of the handles. Then I just drilled the screws in. And there you go. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up or leave me a comment. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.